everyone. <clears throat> My name is Jacob Rodenberg and I'm here to give you another nature note. Such a beautiful spring day, the birds are singing, the sun was shining. I think it'd be a fine day to go for a walk. Come with me. Oh, are you one of those people that walk staring at your feet, foot watcher? Well, maybe you won't trip, but the problem is there is so much you miss when you're out walking in nature. I say we should practice being an all-around watcher. That means looking over here, looking over there, looking up, looking down, looking all around. Let's see what we can discover as we walk. Now I'm looking down, I'm looking at the side. Ooh, that's cool. This is a goldenrod gall. What happens, a little tiny fly? Well, they lay an egg inside the goldenrod and the golden rod grows around the egg and later on in the spring the little larva munches its way to the outside blows up a balloon in his head and pops out sometimes though woodpeckers find them first and then the woodpeckers have a tasty meal wonder what else we can discover every now and again i just like to stop and listen and what i do to help me is I bring along my handy dandy extended ears. Here, you got them too. Your two hands, cup them together, put them behind your ears and push forward. When you do this, you can hear about 10 times better. Let me listen and see what I can hear. Oh, I hear the chipping of a chipmunk. I hear a blue jay. I even hear a seagull in the distance. Cool. And sometimes if you, you wanna make your hearing better, you can make yourself a pair of wonderful deer ears, and I made them right here. Out of cardboard and some dowel, and boy, can I hear well. I can hear Jessica breathing from over there. And I just heard a song sparrow. Mates, 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 bring out your teeth, get a little, little. You know what's also wonderful to do on a walk? It's to smell with our noses. And to help me out, I have a little wet rag. And what I'm gonna do is wet my upper lip. Why? Because the moistness helps me to smell better. Well, I don't smell better, but I can sure smell more smells. And to help me smell the wonderful smells of nature, what I like to do is bend down and just give things a little rub. Here's a little moss. Oh, that's a lovely earthy smell. Does goldenrod have a smell? Yeah. Why, even soil has a smell. In fact, a farmer can tell you whether or not the soil is healthy just by its smell. Mm. And cedar has a lovely smell. Just rub. You can even make your very own smell cocktail. You take a cup, bring along some scissors, and just very carefully clip a little bit from the ends of different places. I'm gonna clip some cedar. I'm also gonna clip some dried grass here. Put that in. And some dried leaves. I'm also gonna throw in a little bit of soil, nice moist soil. Mm. And what the heck, I'm gonna make myself a swivel stick so I can stir it all together and release the scent. I've just made myself a smell cocktail. There's my swivel stick. I'm gonna call that Needalicious. Mm-mm. Wonder what kind of smells you can gather up and smell. Oh, one thing we should always do, anytime we gather something from nature, we should always give back. That's why I carry with me a few seeds. There's sunflower seeds, and I'm gonna plant some right here, and hopefully sunflowers will grow. Anytime I take something, I wanna give back. In fact, I wanna give more than I take. There. One more. I'm gonna say a little quiet thought and the hope that a big towering sunflower will grow right here. Well, that's all for now. I hope you get out and explore nature with your mums and dads. We'll see you next time on Nature Note.